Hi there everybody, uh, we're here today to show you how to make a lionfish containment device. So you need a five gallon jug like this and a funnel, different sizes here, the bigger one's better but the little one does work and then you need a few tools as well. And what we want to do is turn all of that into one of these. I'm just going to show you very simply how to do that. Alright, so first of all we're going to start with the jug and uh, we need to basically cut this top part off. Two ways of doing that. You either take this gas blower, heat up a knife and cut a hole, or by a saw, if you've got a saw, a keyhole, compass, or jab saw, and uh, similar to this knife, just with a serrated edge, you cut a hole in here, or drill a hole, and then you would cut around like that. Obviously size is important here, so what we need to do is take the funnel first of all, put it over the top, nice marker pen, mark all the way around. And then, what I then do is take a marker pen again, just inside of that line, a little bit inside of it, I don't know, maybe, maybe half an inch, because you don't want this, once you cut it to the outside line, just to fall down through, all right? And then basically, once you've got that, you either use your blowtorch or you use your saw, and you should end up with that. See, we've done the saw method, the blowtorch method. It's not pretty. The saw is a lot prettier if you want a nice final finished edge. Okay, then what we have to do is to bore three holes in here. Okay, we're going to use zip ties to attach our funnel. So, how do we actually deal with the funnel part? Again, very simple. This funnel, we just cut this top part off, and then normally it seems to work quite well. Six cuts like this, all the way or nearly all the way to the edge. And again, you can see with this version, we've just used the blowtorch and hot knife, cut all the way down. And again, if you've got a nice saw, you can nice have nice edges on that. And then we'll finish article ends up like this. However, you then need to connect this the two parts together. Very simple, you'll see I've bought a hole in here, a hole in here, and one in here. And basically you put a zip tie through there and end up with it looking like that. Zip tie in there, zip tie there, put another zip tie on here, another zip tie on here, and then you can go hunting. Easy as that. When you come back, you need to get the fish out. You would cut a couple of these off, you only need to cut a couple, leave one on, and then you can get your line fish out. Alright, great big hole, nice and easy to get them out. We do have another version on the bottom of this one. If someone had a bit more money to spend, basically put one of these boat hatches on. Again, put the boat hatch on, put your line around here, and uh, basically you'll cut inside that, and then you'll put six holes to put these wing nuts on. And it's a lot easier. You don't have to take your zip ties off of this end. You just take, put this on, go diving, catch lots of lionfish, and do this, and then take them out. The only issue with this one is this hole's a little bit smaller. Um, and I have seen people make them with even smaller ones, and it's a nightmare to get the fish out. So make sure it goes to nearly the edge. Do not get one 
with the outside this big and the hole only this big, it took you forever to get them out and you'll get quite frustrated. So this is another version with a smaller funnel. It works quite well. These tend to be a little bit, to get dummies a little bit easier, so you do go through a number of these over a season. So that, again, it's a simple system, very cheap. And then I've got a couple of other ones I'll show you. I didn't make this one. Someone made this one and gave it to us, which was very, very kind of them. Again, you've got a five gallon water jug. And with this, this was a, in a pet food store. Uh, so food in a pet food, dog, dog food, I think. And basically a big container. They cut the top off. You'll see then they drilled holes in the side of here. Well, effectively riveted riveted it all the way around and see the inside there so that gives you that part and then the top part of the lid they then cut the hole and again put one of these cut uh, funnels in there again there's no need to ever take these zip ties off that's it pops on there and that's the way to go and in terms of opening it very simple just press this in come flying out of there. So this is a fantastic version. And finally, I have the one I use. This is uh, quite incredible. It's made by a friend who's left the island now and he let me have this. It's two basically put together. You see a dog food type bottom on it. Again. But I think this is going to be another one for another video. Because, uh, a bit more technical to make, I've never seen one like it anywhere. And uh, even on the side here, you've got room for your steer. So, uh, quite, quite, quite. Okay, everybody, thank you very much for watching my video today. I hope this has inspired you to uh, make one of these lionfish containment devices like you see on the table here. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to uh, have a look at my uh, website, Lionfish Hunting. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions on there. I'll do my best to uh, answer them and have a look around on the website as well. It's particularly important for you uh, hunters. Uh, I've got some uh, good, good um, points on there regarding actually uh, how to catch lionfish and uh, how to maximise your kill ratio. Thanks again.